Hello, welcome everybody. Welcome to today's class. Today we have a nice math Olympiad question before us here. Yeah, the question reads 2 to the power of x equal to x. What is the value of x that will satisfy this math challenge? Okay, so we take a solution to today's problem. Now, the question again is 2 to the power of x equal to x. So what we do here is easy. I want to divide true by 2 to the power of x to make the left-hand side of the equation to be unity. So we divide true by 2 to the power of x. We call it divide this side by 2 to the power of x. Okay, so from here, we're going to come up with our x all over 2 to the power of x equal to 1. What we do here is very easy. I want to rewrite the denominator here now by introducing e all raised to the power of ln. Remember that if we have something of this kind, if we have your e to the power of ln of x, this will give us x. Remember this? Because this ln is to base e. So this, this leaves the system. So if we apply this, we can rewrite this denominator here. Okay, so we're writing this will give us x all over our e to the power of ln, then 2 to the power of x, everything equal to 1. According to the law of logarithm, we move this exponent back here. We're going to have this to be our x all over e r to the power of x ln of 2, everything equal to one. Now, again, according to the law of indices, I can remove this division sign here. So this will now end up giving us x times e to the power. This power here now will carry minus sign. So we're going to have here minus x ln of 2, everything equal to 1. We want to evoke the Lambert W function. But before we can bring out the Lambert W function, or the product log, as the case may be, we have to make sure that the number or the quantity we have at the base here is same with what we have here. But before then, let's bring out the product log. Remember that product log says that if you have x there times your e to the power of x, and we take the Lambert W function, then this will give us our x. So, Looking at this, you discover that what we have at the base, same thing we have at the power here. So we have to do same thing here. So at the base, we have x here already. But we don't have minus and ln of 2. So to make what we have here to be same here, we multiply by minus ln of 2. So we're not going to have this to be minus x ln of 2 the times e to the power of minus x ln of 2, the equal to, we must multiply the right hand side by same minus ln of 2. So we have here minus ln of 2. So what we have here is same thing we have here now. So we can take the Lambert W function of both sides now, or the product log as the case may be. So we now have here the Lambert W function, okay, Wn, then bracket, minus x times ln of 2 times your e to the power of minus x up to your 2 then close bracket equal to work we equally take the product log of the right hand side which is w n bracket minus ln of 2 close bracket good so the left hand side will end up giving us minus x times ln of 2 equal to w n bracket minus ln of 2 close bracket we are looking for x so we quickly divide by your minus ln of 2 so we divide this by minus ln of 2 minus ln of 2 also so this this leaves the system right so we now have our x is equal to our w 
oh yes minus two at least so bracket minus ln of two close bracket all over minus ln of two we can bring this minus to this side here so if we do that we're going to end up having x is equal to minus wn bracket minus ln of two close bracket all over ln of two so this gives us the value of our x but we can get the numerical value of x so how do we get the numerical value of x look at our n here n is a set of integers okay so if n is a set of integers definitely we are going to have infinite solutions to this equation but now let's take for n equal to zero so if we have our n equal to zero so what will be the first solution to this expression so we can get the numerical answer here now from wolf Amafa calculator okay imputing the value of n starting from zero so if n is equal to zero our x from here will give us 0 0.824678 minus our 1.5 six seven four three two iota okay so this is the value of our x when n is equals to zero we can equally substitute n to be one da 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 to as many as we can all right so with the use of work from alpha calculator as how i got this solution to our x so this marked the end to this wonderful math olipid challenge this math olipid question so if you learned something from this video tutorial give the video a thumbs up and if you have a better way of solving for x in this challenge then drop it in the comment section remember this is math prowess if you have not subscribed do well to subscribe and when you subscribe turn on the notification bell so that you get notified Whenever I would drop an amazing video like the one you just watched right now. Thanks. Bye for now.